You ever wondered, who is your boss at work? Who is your boss? Who is your daddy? No, who's your boss? Sorry. That has... Oh, know. who's the boss? Remember who's the show? boss? Oh, that was a good show. That was a good show. Let's talk about that. <laughs> oh, sugar nuts. That's me. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Good morning. So, who is your boss? Who's the boss? That was an interesting Tony show. Tony Danza. Tony Danza. He's the boss. No. Well, but what was that girl's name? Angela. Angela, yeah. Angela was the boss, you know what I'm saying? Come on now. Anyway, I, I would love to be a stay-at-home dad. That would have been awesome. You were for I worked like for six months. You were? You were I, I was. I was in six months. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. You ever wondered that, like, what? Are you, who are you really working for? Don't say it. I'm going to Jesus. <laughs> um, I mean, I've questioned that. Like, some of my bosses have been in. Some of my bosses have been terrible. Some of them have been really supportive and, and wonderful. Um, and so, actually, I, I, I had a boss back in high school where I dented a um, Porsche door. It was five, door? No. It was my first job uh, doing the... Landscaping? Landscaping. Do I have to finish every one of your sentences yes. today? And it was a lawnmower that you stand in the back and, and you roll, roll around. And the grass was a little bit wet. And it was a hill. And there was a <laughs> porch right here. Oh. So I went down the hill, couldn't stop, ran right into the door. $5,000 for that door. And I thought I was going to get fired on the spot. But my boss came around and said... That's why we have insurance. Wow. I was like, okay. You're like, are you not going to kill me? <clears throat> I did have to say that I did the mistake in front of the, the customer. But anyway, he was a little miffed. I don't think we were invited miffed? back either. Yeah, miffed. Like angry. Um, I don't think we were invited back because we never saw that house again. But anyway. Or you never saw that I never house. saw that house again. And then I had a boss. Uh, ooh. He was good in the beginning, and then he just, I don't know, he got power hungry and did some stupid stuff. Um, and then I had a boss that was really supportive, and um, if they disagreed with me, they, they did not disagree with me in front of people. They put me aside. They encouraged me. They let me go to training and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, Joe Wilson was a really good boss. And uh, so, I mean, I've had the gambit of bosses, but was I really working for Joe Wilson? Was I really working for the other bosses? Not necessarily, no. no. You I mean, were working for it? Jesus. Wow. If you really, see, th this is why I love Christianity, because it could be a, a really better world if you're thinking that you're not working for your boss. You're not working for money. You're not working for prestige. You're not working for pride. You're not working for knowledge. You're actually working for the ultimate boss. And if you're working for the ultimate boss, then you're going to be honest. You're not going to cheat the system. You're, <clears throat> you're going to come early, you're going to work do late, your you're going to do your best, you're going to do it know. with patience and understanding Ooh. and peace and love and joy. You're going to do all those things because you're doing it for the ultimate boss, not for a physical one. And so Ephesians chapter 6 verse 7, this little scripture, and I, I love this scripture, we should really like start repeating this and actually acting it out. It says, serve wholeheartedly as if you were serving the Lord, mm -hmm. not people. Yes. And so your boss, literally, if you're a Christian, your boss is God, is Jesus. Go ahead and say it. Jesus. Very good. So if you're working for Jesus, then your boss is going to be happy with you all the time. They're going to be happy with your performance because you're trying to please God, not them. That's true. And by pleasing God, you're going to please other people because God says to think of him first, other people second, and yourself last. So you are going to be a servant at work. You are going to serve other people that the world thinks is better than you. Um, you're going to do it honestly and with patience and with understanding integrity. and integrity and love and accessibility and things like that. So my encouragement for you today is who are you working for? Ask that question, answer it with your whole heart. And hopefully if you're working for God, it's going to be a good job because then you're 
going to do it for God's glory and not for your own. Mm -hmm. Anyway, just something to think about. I love you. Jesus loves you too. I'll see you Sunday either on Facebook or in person um, at 11 o'clock. Anybody can come. I don't care what you wear. Just don't want to wind up naked. <laughs> um, well, if you do, we'll put a cloak over you or something. I don't know. You, so, you got cloaks I got cloaks around. hanging around. <laughs> All right. Love you, bye. Jesus loves you. I love you, too. I love you, and Jesus loves you, too. What, what do I usually say? I love you, and Jesus loves you, You know too. he writes that down, so he remembers to say that every Sorry. single day. All right. Love you, bye. 700 days now. 747.